Hello, welcome back. Um, thought of the month time, I thought I'd do this while I'm out for a walk in this uh, local reservoir that's near us um, called Entwistle. It's a bit cold. Um, it's Friday morning. Just thought I'd come out for a walk. Um, caravan, MLTs, this has been discussed quite a lot. Um, in terms of should we have them. I think um, this is probably just a rambling as well as I'm walking around, so bear with me. I think if you uh, the thing that I kind of think about is if, if you buy a caravan privately, um, you've no idea what kind of state that caravan is, and you could go and tow that caravan, uh, and it basically it could, be, could be knackered. So should we have an MLT and how would that be governed? So you can have your caravan serviced every year to check that it's roadworthiness and everything's okay with it. Um, but then again, you can, while you're out there towing, you can get stopped by what I call the uh, wheel tappers and shunters, um, the Volsa people. They can go through your caravan and you can get a defect notice for anything that's wrong with that caravan which is governed by them. Um, so, should we have the MOT whereby, you know, you pay a, what is it for an MOT these days, 30 pound a year. Um, maybe you pay that for your caravan to get that MOT checked over. Um, would that be something that people would be interested in? I probably will be. Something that I would like to possibly do. The other implications of that is that, uh, how many caravans there are on the road, how long that would take to get every vehicle through to an MOT stage, because there must be thousands of caravans out there. Um, you've got to put them all on the system, get them all registered, so maybe they could roll it out with new caravans and start introducing it. From then, maybe they say caravans after a certain age need to be MOT'd um, to check that the roadworthiness. Uh, but then it's getting the older caravans, you know, checking them because they're the, probably the ones with the most faults. So just stop and show you this actually while I'm walking around. Uh, what a lot of people do around here is they uh, put, come up here, I'll show you some more in a bit, and they put these Christmas trees up and therefore possibly relatives that have passed away and they come up here and they decorate trees in memory, in memory of uh, the loved ones. It's quite nice. There's quite some some more on the uh, other side down there, which I'll show you shortly. Um, anyway, so how would it be? Uh, how would it be done? I'd imagine you'd have to, you know, maybe do it with all the new caravans first, and make sure that they're registered, and then work your way back. Um, quite difficult to police and then it's like that's the costing side of it to get it all done but I think it might come eventually because when the, the DVLA or whoever decides that I'm gonna make we can make some money off this we'll put that into uh, into place I don't know I think it might be a good idea I did read that the Vehicle Standards Agency uh, are planning on doing more spot checks this year on not just caravans but trailers. Is that possibly the start of the drive or the push to uh, get the caravan checks, caravan MLTs in place? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not.
another um, knock-on effect from this could be that if there is a defect to your caravan and you clearly need to order some parts I don't think the, the caravan in industry is set up um, in terms of dealing with that because as you all know at the moment if you need to order maybe a specific part from the caravan dealers or an alcohol chassis issue or something like that it can sometimes takes weeks in order to get those parts so that could be uh, kind of something that's going to throw a spanner in the works with it I also think the uh, caravan industry manufacturers need to start listening to their customers a little bit more in terms of what we need what we're saying to them doesn't always get acted on uh, it's uh, if you had a problem with a car and you took it back have no doubt in some cases it will get sorted fairly quickly but in the caravan industry that takes ages unfortunately Christmas trees. Some have messages on, but we're not going to read those. They're quite personal to people. You can see there's quite a few. This is where we've walked round, started from down there all the way up to the right in there, all the way around the line. No idea how long it is, but it was nice. So I'm back in the car now, nice and warm, getting warmer. Um, so, caravan and Maltese, what do you think? On the face of it, it sounds like a good idea. I would be quite in favour of it, uh, paying £30 a year just to make sure. That it's registered but I don't think we've got the infrastructure for it and I don't think at this moment in time it's something that's possible but um, you never know what do you think thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye